Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 4 Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. When we last left off, we were not in the introductory screen, but at the beginning of a chapter. However, the files have corrupted. The doll's curse has not been lifted and uh, Sony Vegas will not render the video. Therefore, I have to record a new introduction and then we will cut to where the non-corrupted footage begins. Bye. And then now we're back to live commentary. Uh, I have already read this, but I'll read it again. Regarding lunar sedative syndrome patients, please take notes on the nighttime wandering habits of patients. Contact me today to confirm the suspected are not interferences with her treatment process. On the night of the full moon, close and bar the door. I also request a strengthening of patrol around the wards. Thank you. Alrighty. So I'm pretty sure Lunar Sedator Syndrome is some kind of, I guess, possession. Let us go explore. I guess not down that way. This way. That way? Which way? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I guess we just need to go downstairs. Old elevator. Right. I guess we go back upstairs. Oh no. What could happen when... Actually, yeah, we haven't done much more than this. Funny how when I did uh, it before, it took me like 10 minutes, but I don't think it will take me quite as long. Good grief. This game is really quite stunningly beautiful. I mean, I guess it is just a couple of windows and some like lights and grey things, but, you know. I guess we go through this door. Does it just mean, does this door look kind of short? Hmm. You know what I would appreciate? Some medicinal herbs, herbs, herbs. Oh, creepy mirror. You know, the reflections in this game, honestly, well, except for the fact that the light doesn't reflect in it. Um, but they're almost more stunning than some I've seen in other games. I think it was Mafia 3 had like the demon mirrors. Uh, name Asagi Hizuki, age 6. From the typical behaviour of being frightened of mirrors and the reported symptoms of memory impairment, she has the diagnosis is Lunar Sedator Syndrome. The degree of the condition is severe. Under the instructions of Director Hybera, there are plans to perform a surgical procedure next week. The surgery for Lunar Sedator Syndrome has been performed twice on sev other severe patients, but no conclusion has been reached as to its effectiveness. Well. Sounds like it's a good idea to do it then. As an early treatment method of lunar sedative syndrome, the surgery will be performed regardless. Great idea, doctors. And the details will be recorded in a report at a later date. Experiment first, ask moral ethical questions later. Please ensure confidentiality of the above information for the sake of the patient, her family, and her lawyers. Right. Where, where is this? I, I can see that there's a, a, a blue shiny thing, but where is it? Where is the game? Show me where it is. Opening doors, we're opening doors, but we're just doing it very slowly. <laughs> Uh, 
I just feel sad when I see her. <laughs> names and numbers and names of people are entered here. They're probably the names of the patient hospitalized in this room. Oh, here's a note. Ah, not a note. Red crystals. Wow. Oh, this looks more like a note. Oops. Um, the day before yesterday they did the surgery. There was a person who got worse after they had the surgery done. So at first I refused. Good idea. But the doctor said it's okay. Uh-oh. Since the operation, my brain has turned red. The day before yesterday they did the surgery. There was a person who got worse. They got worse after the surgery was done. The condition, their condition deteriorated after the surgery. The girl refused. But the doctor said, that's okay, don't worry about it. After the operation, my brain, this girl's brain, has turned red. It hurt so much I couldn't stand it. Afterwards, my hair was gone. Blood flows along with the tears. It's okay, said the doctors. My head is now red, it seems to be melting. My head is now red, and it seems to be melting. It's okay if it melts. This is like the definition of It's fine, everything's fine. I'm okay with this situation. The doctor said I would be fine, so it's okay. It's okay if my head turns red, because the doctor's it's creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll. Look, I see the doll, you see the doll. Okay, that's interesting. An old wheelchair has been left here. So that means that the flashlight has slightly different powers than the camera obscura. Weaker, I guess? That is a bit out of frame, but that's okay. What on earth is that picture? What on earth is this passageway? Why would you get me to go down a dead end? Unless you wish to kill me with ghosts. Why is there a creepy doll there and I can't exercise it? So many questions. What is that dripping sound? Guess we're going to find out. Well, he's not going away. There he goes. Let's examine this book. A note was sitting on the shelf. My achievements studying cranial nerves were finally recognized and I was appointed assistant to Dr. Hyber at Hyber Hospital on Rogetsu Island. Dr. Hyber is the lead researcher on Lunar Sedator Syndrome, which is a memory loss condition particular to this island. As far as I can learn from the available material, the Lunar Sedator Syndrome is a mental disorder consisting of memory defects and other symptoms such as sleepwalking, but many things about it are still shrouded in mystery. Why is it limited only to this island? What causes it? These questions are still to be discovered. Whoa! Dr. Hyber's research approach to Lunar Sedator Syndrome is unique, and many of his treatments are unprecedented. They're unprecedented because they're morally, ethically right! Among his most original methods is music therapy that makes use of the so-called lunar melody, which I feel will cause a stir in the world of psychoanalysis. What's truly fascinating is how this research does not only lead to a method of treating mental illness, but also advances the theory that memories can influence the soul. To work on to Dr. Hyber is surely a valuable experience that I never could have had on the mainland. Thanks, Dr. Hyber. You're a great pal. What is that bizarre moon 
eclipse thing in the corner. Wait, I just want to make sure that I've... Okay, it's really weird that there's a, a, a room and nothing in it. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. It's fine. And a creepy doll which I couldn't take a picture of. What's down this corridor? Let's find out. It's locked from the other side and will never be able to be opened. Uh, I can't go down that way. Gotta go this way. So we want to go down the elevator, right? Just gotta wait. Wait our turn. Fortune favors the bold. Was there something I missed in that room before? Wow! One blue crystal? That's amazing! One, one, you gave us one blue crystal. Wow, you shouldn't have. That's too generous. Whatever will we do with this incredible gift? Okay, I feel like there was something in that room before that, oh wait. I just had a thought. So we saw the ghost and we followed him around, but then he appeared through that window? Right? So we need to follow him over there in order to trigger the next bit, right? Which is through here and to the right. I'm very bad at telling left and uh, right apart. Okay. I am going to go to the end of the corridor and search it one more time. And if there happens to be a ghost there, oh no, that will be shocking. Yes. Why is it? What was here? There has to be something here. Oh my goodness. If this is one blue crystal again. Oh, it's the key. Surgical prep room. Nice. Now we're going to get attacked by ghosties. But that's okay, because we're fine with this situation. We're fine with this situation. We have no objections to... No objections. Alright, uh, okay. Um, hang on. Game. Wait, 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 wait. See, we're fine. We are fine. We are fine. We're fine. I'm okay with this situation and my current plight. In fact, I prefer it. I prefer it to the alternative, which is not being in a creepy hospital haunted by ghosts. Bam. Now we just need to go downstairs. There'll be a save point. Everything will go back to be fine in the world. I'll be happy. You'll be happy. We'll all be happy. It will be great. Let's go downstairs. Let's go down to the stairs and all be happy. We'll be happy because we're not in that room anymore. Or will we? Find out next time. I hope you enjoyed this part. <laughs> ah!
And we'll be back. Oh. Well, we can't just let the phone ring. We better answer it. Or will we? Yes. Find out next time. I hope you enjoyed this part and we'll be back shortly.